So the first step, if you want your students to be able to create books inside your library, is to go in and share the invite code with them. You can find the invite code inside your library right over here at the top. So students will need this code to join your library. Now they only have to enter this code once to get into your library, but if this is the first time doing it, you will have to probably put this code up on the board on your interactive whiteboard or somewhere where, t where students are able to find this code and can type it in. So right now I can create my own book, which I could do, but I'm going to have students do it. Let's see how this will work for a student joining this library. So I just switched over to a student account. And if this is the first time that a student has logged into Book Creator, it will prompt them a message and ask them for that access code. Now, if they've used Book Creator before, they will need to manually join your library. And this is important because you wanna make sure that students author books inside of your library. If they're a member of some of these other libraries, they may create a book and and, and add it inside there, the problem is you won't have access to it because you're not the administrator of that library. So what you'll want to have students do first is to join your library and you'll see the button to join a library right down in the bottom left hand side. And I'm going to paste the code that I've recently generated. Once I join that library, you can see that I'm in Mr. Colosi's classroom, which is the same library that I have just created as a teacher. 